This session on railway history is about Catch Me Who Can, which was the fourth and final uh, steam railway locomotive created by Richard Trevithick, and he built it in about 1808, uh, or rather it was built at Bridge North by um, Rastrick and Hazeldean, Bridge North, um, uh, their where their foundry was based, and demonstrated at um, just south of present day um, Euston Square, uh, so in what was then open ground of Bloomsbury, and they put up a circular track, uh, a plateway track, and put a fence around, and then charged the public to come and have a look at this incredible machine running around its loop of track. And allegedly, it got managed to get to a top speed of 12 miles an hour. Um, but after it only ran for a few weeks there as a sort of a novelty. Uh, uh, not the locomotive novelty, but catch me who can. And um, eventually it had to stop because uh, the rails kept breaking the, the plateway rails. And um, it's certainly a very simple little locomotive. There is a replica, and if you look on YouTube, you'll find a number of uh, short videos uh, showing the replica in steam. And it steams very freely indeed. And uh, the, re the original, as indeed the replica does, um, has a, has a, a horizontal um, cylinder flywheel and gear drive um, originally, and it was that was replaced by a vertical cylinder, and um, it was just you'll see from the uh, animation at the end of this video that uh, the uh, it acts very much like a mobile um, uh, beam engine running along the track. And although it wasn't, it didn't last for very long. It is very significant as another of the uh, early locomotives that led to the much more uh, improved developments that came in the 1820s and 1830s. So Trevithick certainly deserves to be remembered as the father of the steam engine, more so I think in many ways than George Stevenson. Although George and Robert, his son, uh, developed the multi-tube boiler, uh, amongst other things. But the, the whole basis of uh, steam locomotion was really established by Richard Trevithick and by perhaps by William Headley as well. Certainly those who ran um, uh, locomotives in the ironworks around Newcastle upon Tyne in North East England. And here we are with Catch Me Who Can in its demonstration enclosure. Right, they're just a rough up, mop, mopped up enclosure, showing what it would have looked like, something like this, at uh, Bloomsbury, with although with a crowd of passengers on the back, and it would have made an average speed of about five miles an hour, but allegedly got up to twelve miles an hour. And again, this is a plateway track, so this is a flangeless locomotive, relying on the flange on the track to keep it in place. And uh, this is my very ovoid looking circle here, just to show what it would have looked like. But give you an idea of Catch Me Who Can in operation. And it would have been quite, quite a sight to see for the people of um, well, uh, this is two years before the Battle of Waterloo, so it gives you an idea of how early in the Georgian period, early in the 19th century, that these uh, locomotives were being developed. And this was the last that Trevithick uh, produced himself. But it demonstrated a lot of the key principles which were later to be employed by Stevenson and others in their production of later steam locomotives. So there we are, there's, there's Catch Me Who Can. So um, please do subscribe if you, to my channel if you uh, are enjoying these videos and if you'd like to see more. Uh, subscription is free, free, there is no obligation whatsoever. Uh, it just encourages me to do a few more of these and also to demonstrate the models that I made for Trains Railway Simulator. Uh, so do comment as well if you wish and um, 
please look out for my next offering which might be something quite different.